In this morning's medical alert, going to the dentist could save your life. You heard me correctly. Gum and tooth problems have been linked to everything from heart disease to diabetes to premature births. And now researchers at Harvard have found evidence of a cancer connection. This study found that individuals with a history of gum disease had a 60% increase of getting pancreatic cancer, even after scientists factored out smoking, obesity, diabetes, and other potential risks for that kind of cancer. Your dentist has the ability to diagnose that and treat a whole host of other debilitating diseases. And joining us now to explain this further is Dr. Thanos Christalis. Good morning. Good morning, Kate. How dentist are you? Dentist Thanos Christalis, I should Thank say. Thank you. So um, back to the Harvard study, exactly right. what kind of role does gum disease play in pancreatic cancer? How, are the, how do they find the two are really connected? Well, we don't really know the mechanism of the connection, but um, just as you mentioned, uh, adults, men especially that have periodontal disease are going to be about 63% more prone to get cancer. Pancreatic cancer is the fourth leading, leading cause in this country of deaths. Um, we think that the infection that is present in your mouth or some kind of oral bacteria has, has a role to play with this. That somehow the bacteria can get in through your gums and then maybe spread throughout your body? Through your system, through your medical system. That's right. That's okay. right. See, you should always brush and floss. I knew my dentist was right when I was a kid. That's okay. correct. So there are some other kinds of cancers that you can diagnose by looking in a person's mouth. Leukemia? Is right. One of them? Yes, of course. When we're looking at the gums, don't forget, um, this is a great opportunity for me to, to just bring your awareness and the public's awareness. Half of the Americans on an annual basis don't go to the dentist. Uh, we just looked at a study recently and we realized that about 15% of the patients that sat into regular exams in dentist office had not been screened for cancer, oral cancer screening. Um, we are looking at about 8,000 people dying each year in this country. Every hour a patient will die from oral cancer. So it's imperative that we just do an oral screening cancer. It takes about three minutes for me just to examine the head and neck, your throat, the tongue, and maybe save a life. So my message is we can save a life this year. So dentists and patients alike, you've got to look for these things. The interaction between oral diseases and medical diseases is established now. It's not just about flossing. There's a lot of medical things that we can see in the mouth. Okay, and there are some other kinds of diseases uh, with some symptoms. Let's go through those. Um, adult onset diabetes, how do you see symptoms of that in a person's mouth? That's a very interesting, uh, the bad breath, bleeding gums, or, or things that probably will bring the, dent, the patient to my office. Uh, this is very tricky because most of the patients are going to be in their 40s before this uh, disease comes on board. So um, again, we can, with medication, maybe uh, exercise, diet, uh, treat these conditions. Okay, also osteoporosis. I know that's a bone disease. Do you see it, uh, a weakening of the teeth as well? Yes. Uh, osteoporosis is uh, almost be becoming epidemic proportions in this country, especially women after morning pause are going to lose bone. We have a wonderful tool in our office, and most de dentists do take some x-rays when you go in. It's a CAT scan where we can see the bone density and the changes over time. Uh, we can refer you for bone density tests also. Uh, if you have periodontal disease, this might lead to tooth loss. Okay, and then um, acid reflux disease or GERD, what are some symptoms that a dentist can identify? Typically the patient will complain for, you know, tooth erosion. It's interesting, we see patients sleeping on one side of the mouth and the acid just eats away the teeth, Ooh. literally, you know, with bulimia we see the same thing. Um, sour taste in the mouth, difficulty swallowing, hoarseness, sore throat, those are symptoms that will bring you in. Again, exercise, medication, maybe surgery, hopefully not, you know, that's the extreme, will help you get treat these conditions. And then finally, heart disease. You can also identify symptoms of heart disease. That one shocked me. Yes. Well, typically the uh, people that smoked uh, used to be at high risk. Oral infections, excessive cavities, missing teeth, inflammation of the gums. I think this one is exactly what you said, Kate. Floss and save your life yeah. and live longer. And so the bottom line is don't skip that dentist appointment. You still need to go every six months. Every six months. And if you're in the chair, please tell the dentist do oral cancer screening.